So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. I'm gonna show you two ways on how to get here. So for the first way, this is if you can sign into Windows. I'm on Windows right now, I can sign into it. So if you can also sign into Windows like me, then you're gonna head over to search and type in reset this PC, click on it. And then once you're on this, next to advanced startup, you're gonna click on restart now. And then click on restart now again. It will then take you into that screen. And now for the second way, if you cannot sign into Windows, then you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn it on, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you wanna click on advanced options. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, then we're gonna go with command prompt. If you do not see command prompt, you wanna click on CMO recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on command prompt, and now this will come up. And then once you're on this, you wanna type in bootrec space forward slash fix MBR. Click on enter. And now we're gonna type in bcd edit space forward slash export space c colon backslash bcd copy and click on enter. And now we're gonna type in attrib space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space dash h space dash r space dash s. Click on enter. If you get this error, just ignore it. And now you're gonna type in ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot copy and click on enter. And now we're gonna type in boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Click on enter again. Wait for this to load. On your screen, you may be getting something that will say yes, no, or all. If you get this, you're gonna type in y, which means yes, and then click on enter. Now we're gonna close out of command prompt and then continue to windows and then the prompt should be fixed.